Hello, thanks very much for watching. Well, Molly and I are still heading south on the beautiful River Thames. I install a brand new LED headlight, as well as a rather loud horn to the bow of Alice. And at Lower Basildon, right next to the river, there is a derelict and rather creepy mansion. Leaving the open fields next to the Thames, we carried on on our journey down the river. Passing the market town of Abingdon, the river curves back on itself back and forth. Just to the east of the village of Benson is the main operating base for the Royal Air Force, RAF Benson. It's home to its fleet of Westland Puma HC2 support helicopters, and the airfield's been here for 80 years. Carrying on south past Wallingford and Goring, once again, I moor up for the night next to a large, quiet meadow. Be warned, they are very strict here at Abingdon Lock. The further I go, the grander the properties become. That is apart from one. Just northwest of the village of Lower Basildon, overlooking the river, is the Grotto House. Built in 1720 by Viscount Fane of Basildon Park for his wife Lady Mary Fane, who was a maid of honour for Queen Anne, it remained a family home for the Sykes family until 1953 and then became a training college, but since 2007 it's been left empty and derelict.
have been quite a few rumours about the Grotto House over the years. The latest is that West Berkshire Council have just granted planning permission for it to become a £32 million luxury country hotel and members club. With 53 bedrooms, restaurants and bars, this 18th century property may come back to life once again. At the front of my narrowboat Alice, now that it's been painted, it's time to fit a new headlight and horn. I chose this Durite 40 watt LED light bar. It's 268mm in length, has 3400 lumens and there are 8 6000 Kelvin LEDs. I wanted the light to sit on the roof of Alice and allow me to point it upwards to the roof of a tunnel so not to blind people coming in the opposite direction. I've seen these waterproof cable seals by Scanstrut in use on a number of other boats. Although made from plastic, they're really tough and have been tested to withstand water immersion to a depth of one metre. It comes with a number of pre-drilled and split rubber seals that compress against the cable when screwed together. The first job I did was to temporarily mount the light to the centre of the roof. I tap and dyed two M4 holes and after placing the cable seal in position drilled a larger hole for the light cable. I painted all the holes with primer. With storm clouds approaching and all these new holes in the roof I needed to crack on and get the seal and cable fitted. After drilling and tapping three holes suitable for M3 sized screws I stuck the foam seal on the bottom of the base seal and screwed it to the roof. The light was mounted and its cable fed down through the cream seal and the grommet and the screws were all tightened. I've chosen this area to the starboard side of the bow door to mount the horn. This is a 400mm by 95mm single trumpet horn. It's 12 volts and it's loud. Once again I drilled yet more holes in Alice, but this time I used a polished stainless steel gland as it's right next to the polished stainless steel horn. The light is angled upwards and provides lots of lovely light when in tunnels. And hold on to your seats, here comes the loud horn. It is a lot louder in person, I promise. Next time I finish my journey on the River Thames and turn west onto the Kennet and Avon Canal at Reading. Until next time, see you later. <laughs>